Yo, what's going on guys? In this video, we're going to be doing loop and one from Vulnhub. This is Box Reader by Easy. And yeah, it will be as enjoy. All right, so once we're opening our terminals here, I'm going to start running a now discover minus r 10.0.0.1 slash 24 slash i to zero. By doing this, we do get the IP of the box 10.0.0.120. So I'm going to do control shift z and start running a map scan. So do mmap minus sc for default scripts, minus sv for numeration. I'm going to scan out ports in the IP. Uh, doing this, I don't want to wait for that map scan, so I'll do like a net cat mice nv on port 80. This seems like port is open for HTTP, right? So we're going to start by visiting IP address. Uh, visiting IP address, we do get a image here, so I'm going to do control u to the source code. And it doesn't seem like we do have anything, right? So I'm going to start by doing some enumeration and running a goal buster. So do goal buster, dir mode minus u, went to the IP address minus w first user, share word list, with a dir buster directory list 2.3 medium.txt, and we'll do extensions as HTML. TXC and also PHP. Uh, visiting the ports, would you get port 22 open for SSH, port 80 open for HTTP? It does seem like we do have one disallowed entries under robots.txc, which is this. So I'm going to start by visiting robots.txc. Visiting robots.txc, we do get the same file here or same directory. So I'm just going to copy and paste that. We do get an error 404, right? So let's look back at our GoBuster. It does seem like we do have a robots.txt, a JavaScript, manual images, and index.html, right? Doesn't seem like we do have anything under GoBuster, right? So I'm also going to run a GoBuster against this subdirectory. So I'm going to cancel this. Um, it does seem like we just do have an index.html, right? Uh, if we don't get anything, I'm just going to start by using wfuzz to fuzz for this. So we use wfuzz. Um, in this case, we want to start fuzzing for some directories. So I'll put this in there. Um, in this case, we can start by fuzzing for like, we can replace the my files, or um, we can just run this against the subdirectory, right? Which we already do have under GoBusters. So I'm going to do the same thing. Just do this under the little curly thing and fuzz, right? I'll start by specifying minus w for wordless user share wordless will do the buster directory. This is 2.3 medium.txt. Uh, we can't specify extensions with wfuzz, so wfuzz. We'll do minus minus hw for zero. We can press it on that. In this case, we do have the um, we do have the word as 31, so we do minus minus hw for 31. So we need opt out for 200s, right? Okay, so you do see that we do have a 200 here for the response and the word, it did opt out for 31. And of course, 404 is not going to be found. Um, so we do have 51 and also showing that we do have secret, right? So I'm going to go to slash secret. So we have under here and this same like we have a user actually four. Um, it does seem like this is a directory. So to get SSH private file, it does seem like he's hiding his SSH private key under here, right? So I'm going to copy, start by copying this and use the fuzz against this. So the problem with this is that we're going to also going to be using, we're going to be using two tools. We're going to use wfuzz as we did right now. And we're also going to be using um, ffuff, right? ffuff, the only difference between wfuzz is let's use extensions. Um, the syntax for wfuzz is pretty weird. So I'm going to be using ffuff, right? So we're going to go be going to the GitHub and doubting and downloading it from the GitHub page, right? Um, since he did say that there was like private keys, I'm going to just try like I'm just going to try like DOS SH and see if there's like ID underscore the same. And it doesn't seem like there's anything, right? So I'm just going to start by, um, so we don't, we did know this is secret. I'm also going to fuzz for this. So I'm pressing on that. I'm just going to let this go up to like 10,000. And it doesn't seem like we can get anything, right? So I'm going to clear this. We're going to start, go to the GitHub for FF. So we're going to go to GitHub. We'll do FF. Um, FF should let us use like the minus E option for extensions. So I'm going to go to the latest releases. We'll just go to this one right here. We'll go to save file. I'm going to go to slash root. We'll go to copy from slash root downloads. All we do know is ff.tar.gc. We'll copy it to this directory. We'll do tar minus XVF. We'll do FF. And now we can run ffuff, right? With ffuff, um, it's pretty, basically the same syntax. So we're gonna do minus u. We'll enter. So ffuff minus u. We'll put this in quotations. 
um, we'll just do, we'll start by specifying since it was, since it was dot SSH or since it was showing that there was private keys under here, I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna start this fuzz with, um, a dot, right? Um, so we'll do fuzz. I'm also going to specify, uh, we'll do my w for user share world list. We'll do door buster directory. Let's do point medium dot TXC. We'll, we can specify minus E now. So we can do minus E for extensions. We'll do dot TXC. Uh, a comma and we'll also do like a dot pub right if there's a dot pub that means that there should be a private key on the server right so i'm going to test for dot txc extensions just for text file and also a dot pub right so we can press it on this i'm also going to try uh, minus minus eight mc so we can opt out for the status code which is 200 for 200 found for this we can run this one more time so i'm going to, I'm going to let this go up to like sixty thousand and see what we get Um, so we did get a mysuka.txc. I'm just gonna go to dot I'm just gonna go to dot mysuka.txe. And here we do get a type of encoding, right? I'm guessing this is the SSH case, so we don't know what type of encoding this is. So I'm just gonna go to Cyberchef. Um anytime I don't know like the type of encoding, I like going to Cyberchef, going to searching up from, and this is gonna search up like all the type of decodings, right? Um so we're gonna start with base since we know this is not hex. Um, so I'm just going to go to from base. Doesn't seem like it's from base, from octal. It's not octal. We'll go to base 32, not base 32, base 62. Or we skip, we skip base 58 and it was base 58, right? Um, it does seem like we do have a private key here. So I'm going to put this into, I'm a VI into ID underscore RSA. Put this in here. I'm going to right quit. We'll do sage mod 700 for the permissions. We'll do SSH. Um, doing some enumeration, we did find a user as isex3064 at 10.0.0.120. We can do minus i for id underscore same. And it is asking us for a passphrase, right? So we're going to use SSH to John. So user share John, SSH to John. We'll specify id underscore say. I want to put this to like an id underscore say. We'll do under, underscore crack um, dot txe, right? So we'll do a, uh, we'll just cat this out. ID underscore RSA underscore crack dot TXC. It does seem like this is ready for John to crack, right? So we use John minus minus word list. We'll here we'll specify user share word list rocky dot TXC. We'll specify ID underscore RSA underscore crack dot TXC. And it does seem like he gets a password as this, right? So we're going to go back and see if we can try to SSH with the user and with this password. And does seem like we do get along so right? I'm gonna do ID. It doesn't seem like we do have any Alex D or um Docker. Doing pseudo MySL, we did have a script that was running for high stop py. So I'm gonna copy this. Um and it does seem like this is Python hijacking, right? So we can do Python module hijacking, um basically which we can see if the um, so when it does import.py. When it, does, when, when it does import web browser, it's going to go to the web browser.py, which is under like user lib Python 3, since this is running um, Python 3.9, right? Um, it is, and once it goes to the, it seems like it's going to the web browser.open, it's using the method.open to open this, right? Um, so we can use like two, we can locate for uh, .py. Doesn't seem like it works. So we're going to go under user lib. Uh, we do know this is Python uh, 3.9. So I'm going to do Alice my cellular. We'll grab forward web. And it does show that this is read and write for everybody, right? Um, so I'm going to copy this. We're going to nano into this. It already does import the OS to run a bin slash bash. Um, so I'm just going to go under here. We'll press space under there. I'm just going to do os.system run like a simple bin slash bash slash bin slash bash. I'm going to run a we'll CD back. We'll do sudo minus cell. So we're going to, um, we'll cat this out. So just explaining, just to recap on this, uh, once it does, it is importing the web browser. So it's going to go to the user lib Python 3.9 web browser.py. And once it does run, 
once it does run something inside for web browser, which is going to be webbrowser.open, it's going to run the bin slash bash since um, it does use the method for dot open, right? So do sudo my install. Uh, we'll run this as this user. So I'm just going to copy this. We'll do sudo minus u. We'll run this as a r s e n e. Run this as that. And now we are under the user, right? So we do sudo minus l. This seems like this is running user bin pip. So we can go to GTFO bins. I'm just going to go to pip. We can run this as sudo. So I'm going to do control F to do sudo. Uh, looking at this, it is importing OS. It's also going to do an OS exec, which lets execute a bin slash sh. Um, so I'm just going to copy this. Just copy each one. And for this, I'm going to do sudo minus l, which is sudo minus u. Run this as pip. Or I'll just copy the path, uh, which is pip. It was running the pip install, so we'll just copy install for the variable. Um, maybe sudo minus u, we can specify root. CD into root, ls, or in kind of root.txt. Well, guys, that's pretty much in the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.